Hey Robert, this is Paul Heck with Grassfire Digital Marketing. I really appreciate you calling us to help you out on uh, just marketing um, in general, your products. And I want to show you, uh, you know, a couple of things that um, you're going to need to do. I know we talked a little bit about uh, your social media and how we can how we can do that. Um, I'm going to get into that a little bit further in some different ways. Probably not in this video. But I know that um, that is definitely going to be one of the ways that you're going to be able to get your brand out there the most. It's going to take a lot of focus, a lot of effort. Um, ad campaigns, Facebook ads, Google ads. These are definitely other avenues that you need to pursue to get your brand out there, to get uh, people that are searching for specific things to actually click on that. I'll touch on that just a little bit for Google ads here in just a moment. And then, but what I want to also, you know, another aspect of this and a large aspect of this is what is your website doing for you? How are you being found in Google search? Um, and what are your competitors doing to get found and those sorts of things. So what I want to show you is, uh, that part of things with, um, what I have pulled up here first. So Google is looking for who's the authority in coffee, um, in direct to consumer, um, specifically for you guys, like who, who do they want to recommend for, uh, when people search for certain search terms. Now I've looked up just some certain search terms that have some good volume and some lower keyword difficulty because it's all about matching that, uh, with, with you guys getting found. And I use this program called Ahrefs. It allows me to see the, how much search is going on. And you can see French roast coffee gets searched 2,900 times a month. It's got an eight keyword difficulty. Uh, roast the dead. That's probably a brand. Light roast coffee, 2,600 a month. Nine keyword difficulty. Blonde roast coffee. I like to see this too because that's a lot easier to rank for. 2,500 a month. Uh, best light roast coffee, six on the KD. Um, you can actually use uh, just uh, best medium roast coffee, four KD, a thousand searches a month. So as you can see, we're trying to build a list of what is the best available search that you can be found for with the lowest keyword difficulty. Keyword difficulty uh, is kind of ranked in a zero to five KD is going to, you know, you can expect to rank within about three months for that. Um, then you go to the six to 10 KD and that's, you know, another three to six months on that. So it, the higher that KD is, the the longer time period that you have to do SEO to uh, build up to get to that rank and then you have to maintain that rank. So looking at your website, here's the first things that, that you need to do. You need to add the specific content to your website. So this is looking at all of this text on your website, adding more of this down in the bottom is where we'll do this. Um, that specifically targets those search terms. So when I say you know, medium roast coffee has a keyword that we're trying to get found for. We need to have medium roast coffee on your website, a uh, minimum of three times. It usually, it needs to be contextual. You can't just like put that word on there. Um, you need to be talking about it. So uh, we're going to talk about medium roast coffee, for instance, and um, add, you know, 200 words of content just for that one search term. So we're building a campaign of multiple search words so that we can get more volume coming to your website. But that means we have to build that out with more additional content. Google likes to see a minimum of 1,500 words of content, um, depending on how many keywords you you choose to go after. You know, it can be uh, two, three thousand uh, words, maybe even five thousand words, depending on on how much we're trying to go after. Um, second thing that Google wants to do is backlinks. So they are looking at how many other websites are linking to your website. And we can go out and actually get backlinks from blog posts and, and other things to actually link to your website. And um, that will build strength. So if you have a, um, think of this as like, you've got a powerful, uh, strong website in Google's eyes out there and they link to your site. Well, they pass that strength to you and it boosts you up in the ranking. Um, the fourth thing, or sorry, the third thing I'm going to talk about are citations. These are your name, address, and phone number listed all over the internet in all of these directories that there are. This is Manta, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, all of these types of things. We want to get, um, I like to pursue a hundred more than your nearest competitor. Um, and that way that uh, we are able to just look a lot stronger. They are always playing catch up to us and we just have more, um, more, directories out there online. It just looks like we have a bigger presence. 
So it's creating those three things. Now, looking at what your competitors are doing. Yeah, you know, Grounds and Hounds Coffee is a big competitor. Uh, their website, you know, they've got some really nice images on there. That's something that you might upgrade on yours. Um, it just gives the consumer a little bit better feel, a little bit more, you know, softer feel to the website. It looks, it looks more professional. Uh, of course, they're they're marketing a lot of drinkwares and apparel and stuff. That may be something you grow into, but you know they've got some content on here. Clicking back, to, you know, all of these are clicking out to links to the blog posts and stuff. But they don't have just a ton of content. You know, they just have a huge, robust uh, website. You know, they've got pages for all of these different things. So each one of these is a page, um, and then you know on there on and on. So. Their website's really robust. That's how they're they're getting some ranking high. Black Rifle, as you know, spends a ton of money on marketing. Um, their their web page looks really slick. Uh, again, nice professional images. Um, they're marketing a lot of gear. They've got a lot of uh, content. You know, just buried. You know, in this article, um, they're talking about their Instagram page. They're trying to refer th things out, but their their website's just so robust. You know, there's so many pages that you know uh, they've spent a lot of money on that um and I, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to get some of these rankings but i don't know that you're going to be able to compete directly with say a black rifle or a um you know a, a grounds and hounds and i'll show you that why so here's your website pulled into this program it's it's looking at what's your strength your website's brand new it's not pulling any data um you're not being found currently for any keywords, and that's what we think that we need to change. So if you look at, say, Grounds and Hounds, for instance, they have really strong website, um, 53 to 62. This is it takes an incredible amount of, um, of backlinking to get to this level, and it's really strong backlinks. Um, they're actually probably getting a lot of media uh, outlets, you know, giving them guest posts and such. Again, you don't have to compete with these guys per se. Uh, right now as you're starting out in the future though you may want to so you need to think about that just as you grow and, and get bigger um, they're being found for 5800 keywords this is a massive amount of keywords you can click into this uh, most of my websites aren't, aren't targeting near that amount of keywords but a lot of them there are the name uh, into that um, you know dog and coffee you, you know that's got a keyword difficulty of uh, 26 so that's that's pretty strong um, 1,200 searches a month for 2,600 or 26 KD. That's that's going to take a long time to rank for that. Now it's doable, but it just takes a long time. You got to build your strength of, of your website. Uh, dog coffee shop, dogs and coffee. Um, you know they're just being found for a lot of different keywords. Dark roast blend. You know 11 KD, 200 searches a month. I like that kind of stuff. Um, the lower the KD, the better. But you know, I go through and I build a plan for you to to attack a certain amount of search, I'm trying to give you just the best bang for your buck on the you know your investment. Looking at Black Rifle, 68,000 keywords. Um, there's just a ton of information on their website, and you can see it's really strong. Uh, it's one of the stronger websites in the in the world. Um, just you know, it's ranking 91,000th, but um, you know that's 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 way up there in strength. And they just built it out over time, you know, and you can see their strength is climbing more and more uh, with the amount of backlinks that they have coming to their site. So it's all about getting that backlink strength. It's all about getting the right keywords on your page that you're being found for. Again, we go through here and we really target like what is the best uh, keywords that we can, um, you know, get for you for high volume, 700 great volume on that, uh, 5KD. Yeah, we should be able to take that over, you know, in a few months. Um, to try to get to get, get those up. Um, 7KD is going to take a little bit longer, but we build out a plan and, and really go after that. So that's how we do that. Um, you can do this with adding keywords into, uh, you know, photos, different things like that. Uh, what I would do is, well, I want to show you this real quick. This is just kind of where I look at your competitors. I just, this was a pest control company that I did this for. Um, just to show you an example, but it shows me exactly what your competitors are listed under. And then, you know, if this was you guys, we would want to go to go get these, you know, five right here that you don't have and your competitors do. So that's how we beat them on the citation side of things. Citations are those uh, di online directories. 
Um, what I would do from the Google standpoint of, of running ads is I would run ads for your website and really target some of these high volume uh, keywords uh, with very little difficulty and um, just create an ad campaign to go target that specifically. Um, those are our Google ads. Um, people run these all the time. You, you know, you usually see them up here. I think uh, Black Rifle is actually running an ad against their own name. So they just want, a, you know, they're spending money to just put um, an ad, you know, so that they get clicked on right at the top um, from, from their own name. So uh, Google Ads can run very in price. It just depends on what it is. We've built a plan to try to, to uh, you know, capture as much as much as you want to spend. We try to capture that in a way that uh, gives you the best bang for your buck. Um, and I can give you a, a detailed analysis of what um, what that would be based on, you know, just a different levels of ad spend as far as us, us creating that. Uh, what I would really do is, uh, again, like you talked about, you know, getting Facebook ads run. I think this is going to be your best bet. I think that's creating uh, some clever content based around video. It's uh, getting, uh, you know, continue to post often on your social media platforms. Um, we can automate that um, and do those for you if you want to. But um, it's going to be one of your best ways to, to get your name out there and get in front of people. But running an ad on Facebook is going to allow your target audience that we can identify. It might be, you know, um, a woman between the age of, you know, 25 and 45 or something like that. We can look at all the metrics on that, that owns a dog and lives in a certain er area of the country. Uh, you can get really specific on running Facebook ads and get the best bang for your buck again when those ads show up. That's going to create um, opportunities for your name to get, just get out there more and get you more likes on your Facebook page, uh, more likes on your Instagram, and then hopefully have people you know order from you. So there's different ways to do that. I think that's just, this, just another aspect. So there's a website SEO side. There's running Google and Facebook ads, and then there's just hitting your social media platforms just consistently and getting your brand out there uh, in front of more and more people. So that's just, I uh, wanted to show you that quick video. Hope it was uh, informational, and I will um, get you some more information on what I think the ad campaigns would look like. Appreciate your time. Thanks.